Check out these new wheels donated to me by my uncle, Cappuccino. Cream of the crop. So he, he saw that I was riding, he must have seen on YouTube or something, that I was riding a shit bike for $119. And mind you, you heard what I said about that bike. It was It's the best bang for your buck. But full thanks to my uncle, Cappuccino. He's pretty much given me the ultimate bike. Now this thing, unlike the other bike, is fit to go to Western Australia and back on one without maintenance. This is the cream of the crop. Now it doesn't look like much, but when you inspect it closely, and also how much it retailed for, it's the cream of the crop. They go, these bikes go between 1,500 bucks and two and a half grand. I'd, this, this one's probably 1499 but you know, Tino's done some good work on it I can see he's really shined the discs he's very good with brakes I mean my uncle I don't know why he's not a qualified mechanic on paper but he does brakes better than anyone else he does brakes like the people uh, at Holden at Holden Racing HRT the, the brakes that he fucking does unbelievable so this bike was in, to put it in perspective, in shit condition, cobwebs and all. He's shined it, he's managed to get everything off and restore it. I've even got two drink holders. Got my Presta and Schroeder valve kit there. Lights. So red and white lights. And they go for ages, fucking really good build. Reflectors, all good to go. Uh, this is for luggage and other stuff so even though it can host a basket or something I'd rather have it like that have something sit on it and tie it something compact but I've already got this little convenient bag which is right on there excellent racing seat fuck yeah perfect height and I've been riding it all day unbelievable this thing is like a Rolls Royce I can't think of too many other things I can do to it it's completely fit for purpose. It's got very, very good brakes. Very good calipers. Fuck, they're perfectly aligned. Perfect. Unbelievable. He's a fucking magician, Tino. I don't know what he fucking does. Even the uh, he's played with the uh, shock absorbers. They're really good. I've tested them today. I can see the welds are completely intact, like 100%. In, this bike is unbelievable. I'm fucking stoked. So to give you an understanding, at the premium level, this is like your Porsche or Ferrari or somewhere there. This is a really, really good bike. A really, really good bike. Even the fucking wheels, they're not too thick. They're not overdone, but they're perfect. Perfect tread or brand new tread. He's put brand new tread on them or something. Fucking unbelievable. Unbelievable bike. Full thanks. I, I offered to give him money. He said, no, no, I don't want to send. So he's just give it, giving it to me. Picked it up from my nun house. Have a go at that. Yeah, that's how we are in the family. I mean, I, the other year in 2017, 18, I gave him a four-wheel drive free. It was a fucking $3,000, $4,000 car in top condition, Mitsubishi. Uh, Outlander. Like one of those newer shapes, and he just took it. And I, I could have said, "Nah, give me the fucking car back, cunt." But yeah, he's my uncle. I love him to death. So, yeah, I think Chris drove it around. He drove it around, and you know, in return, he's a bike. That's how the family runs. We all love each other. We all do each other favors. So, you know, fucking full thanks to my uncle Cappuccino. Absolute fucking heart of gold legend. He's given me a I've got a brand new bike here. Oh fuck yeah! This is the cream of the crop. This thing. I swear to God, could I could do I could encircle the world. It's that fit for purpose. So again, I'm stressing to you. Like after this type of bike, you go into the specialty bike. So it's you've got cheapo bikes, you've got a bang for your buck bikes, you've got just before premium, then you've got premium, which is this. Then you've got oh, sorry, you've got lower end premium, then higher end premium. This is higher end premium, and then you've got that's it. Higher end premium is like BMW. 
Porsche, that sort of stuff. And then you've got specialty bikes, which I guess you could start to compare to McLarens and Ferrari models and things like that. Although you do get cheap Ferraris. You, you get them in all sorts of ranges, Ferraris. But the specialty bikes is when you start to get a bit ridiculous and you've got like fucking $5,000 parts on it. And it's, not only is the bike worth like 10 or 20 grand, there are parts on it that are worth like five grand. The wheels on it are like worth 800 bucks each. It's fucking, un, it's ridiculous. But I mean, you do get what you pay for, but they're the sorts of bikes really, really uh, rich people get sort of thing or you know, dedicated uh, mountain bike riders that compete. Whereas this is just shy of that. This is the higher end premium. I can tell you that now. I know a lot about mountain bikes. I'm not a professional uh, bike mechanic, so I don't know more than what someone would at Blackman's Bicycles. But I know a lot about mountain bikes and more so how to ride them and how they go. I've got fucking, I've had experience since a six, a seven year old. And this, oh my God. This To me, this is like being given a brand new car. So you don't owe me a cent, Unc. I gave you my car the other year. We're even. We're fucking even. This is, you know, I fucking love you. Hopefully, I'll go see Chris's fucking show when he becomes Miss Olymp Mr. Olympia. I'll, I'll, I'll turn up to that fucking uh, show with this bike. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs>